you know, and everybody's so excited. Of course, this is the final. So I'm, I mean, beautiful day here in Paris. No wind, so great. Yeah, perfect conditions for all the players out there. The women's final is set. Jasmine Paulini is the one who is the big surprise here this year at the 2024 Roland Garros, and uh, she's about to walk out. Triantec, the world number one, of course, uh, she is uh, ready. She's been at this uh, position uh, so many times uh, before. This is her first, fourth final. She's uh, making her way up uh, the stairs. She's done it so many times uh, before. She looks confident. I wonder if she's listening to Taylor Swift, probably most likely, to get ready for this uh, match. Iga Sviantek, she wants to win a fourth title in a row. And uh, let's take a quick breath uh, and uh, listen to how she will get received. Number one, Iga Sviantek. She looks confident. She always has her record out, uh, and I'm sure she's looking forward to this matchup. Now, Alex, I'm going to go back to you uh, once again. How can uh, Jasmine Paulini hurt Iga Sviantek today? Does she have the weapons uh, to make it a competitive match? Well, in my opinion, the most important thing is confidence. Why? She's been playing like so many matches here at Roland Garros, and after she won in Rome in doubles with Rani, she won 16 matches in a row. That gives you the hope every time you step on court, even if you play against Iga Sviontek, that you can do it. I believe she needs to use her forehand, of course, with a lot of topspin. I don't think she needs to rush so much. I think she can use her backhand, maybe in the middle, not to give too many angles to Iga, but of course, Iga might like to dictate as well. So it's going to be very open. But normally we feel like, OK, Iga should be the clearly favorite. But once you're in a final for a Grand Slam, you never know. So if I would be Paulini, I will be like, give everything I have inside and just feel myself calm when I finish the match. Even if I win or if I lose, it's already a gift for her. One thing is for sure, Jasmine Paulini has absolutely nothing to lose. We'll see how she will uh, deal with this occasion. Chrissy, I'm going to leave you with the last uh, words. What's going to happen out there? And I feel like I know what you're going to say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I just hope that Paolini, again, starts out well because she, uh, Iga's the best front runner in the game. Nobody has been able to get any balls past Iga. Um, Iga does not miss, uh, she doesn't have unforced errors at all. She's aggressive, she moves well. To me, she has no holes in her game. And I think the intangibles, too, she's just. You know, she treats every mat, every point like it's match point. She's focused and she's hungry. She's still hungry for titles. So I have to, you know, I think she's the overwhelming favorite in this match. All right, uh, Chrissy, thank you so much for your analysis. Uh, thanks, Alice, as well. Thanks, Timmy. I think we should have another ice cream, maybe. Just, just a quick one. We're going to head out there. Philippe Chatrier, the women's final of Roland Garros. Let's find out who will be the champion. Tennis ball or player? Player. Player. Ball for you. Et c'est ça. Bah, parfait. And it's the ball. Iga. Your choice. Serve. You serve? I'll stay here. Have a good match. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. Merci.